Nettie Louise asks, uh, when you travel about on tour, this must be a bit, huh? When you travel about on tour, do you ever make an diva requests? I think it was probably any diva requests. Like, only green star shaped soap in the laboratory, or please stock the mini fridge, or with big red and exotic cheeses. Um, well, so big red is gum, so I don't think you have to, I don't think that's something that has to be in the fridge. No, we don't make any particularly diva-like requests. Our requests on a rider for a long time were um, a set of local postcards and stamps so that we can send postcards to people without having to go out looking for them. Um, sometimes we've had socks on there because if you go on tour for long enough and you can't find um, a washing machine, it gets really, like if you ever run out of socks, that's a real drag. I mean, underwear is kind of a drag too, but those don't tend to get as disgusting as socks can after, you know what I'm saying? That's gross. Um, I will tell you a story that's not about my band. Um, apparently the green m and M story, which I believe is attributed to uh, Van Halen, they're, they're famous for being total divas because they, would, they wanted all, they wanted a bowl of m ms with all the green ones removed, um, or only green ones, depending on who you uh, get the story from. The point of that, that makes them look like they were total divas. Actually, what was supposedly happening, um, is that they were the first band to do pyro in small clubs, or maybe to do pyro at all, I can't remember. Um, and it meant that their tech rider, the rider that says like, we need you know this tank of propane with this nozzle and blah, 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 that kind of stuff. It was, it, it, there were such incredibly specific things on there that related to people's well-being in the crowd, because now they were shooting fire out. That they re that if they came into the dressing room, and the the uh, bowl of M and M's wasn't correct, they would know that they had to go back through the entire tech rider to make sure that everything was safe. So it was actually a really smart way to test whether or not the um, the club and the promoters were doing their job, making people safe. It's the exact opposite of them being divas. I've also heard that particular pop stars like need um, a whole cadre of of puppies, for instance, which is something we should consider doing. Like, I would love to have puppies around all the time. But then what do you do with all those puppies? Like, I don't want the puppies to have a bad life because of that. And I can't, I can't, I've already got enough bad dogs in my life. I can't have more bad dogs, you know what I mean?